let's now run the first scan from the Azure Purview account. For that, you need to give few permissions to Azure Purview and Data Lake. Go to your Data Lake storage account and after that go to IAM that is access control. Click on add and click on add role assignment. Here you need to search blob and you will get multiple roles. Click on storage blob data contributor. Click on next. Here you need to give permission to Azure Purview to successfully scan the metadata from Azure Data Lake storage account. Click on Manage Identity, select Members. Click on Manage Identity, Purview Account. Click on the Purview Account name, select, review and assign, and now it should be added. But we have done, we have assigned a permission for Azure Purview to scan the data or the metadata from this storage account, which is ST Demo ADLS. Just to verify, click on Role Assignments. We can see that the role storage blob data contributor has been assigned to Purview Demo Dev resource. Now let's go to Data Sources on Purview. And to scan the data source, there is a scan button that is available here. Click on that new scan. You can give this scan name as uh, anything, but I am giving it as by default. Click on the integration runtime. By default, it is giving you the default integration runtime, but you can also create your own by going to the integration runtimes on the left side of the screen. And I'm using the default credential here. The collection where I want to scan here is, as I told you that once you have added the source or, or registered the source in the root collection, then it can be scanned anywhere in the sub collections as well. Let's say I want to scan the health file in the human resource. I can select this collection. Let's test the connection. It is successful. Let's click on continue. Here it is giving you the option to select the scope of the collection. You can select the whole folders to be scanned under a collection, or you can also select specific folders as well to be scanned in the different collections. Let's say the sample data has to be scanned in the human resource collection, but there are some other folders which need to be scanned in the finance collection. So that is possible in the data lake storage account. Click on continue. And again, I'm not adding any scan rule set as of now. I'm keeping it basic and let's click on continue. I'm just running this scan for once but you can also set a recurring scan by setting the occurrence and the specific days of the month. Click on once, continue. I want to save and run it right away. So I'm running save and scan. To track the status of the scans, you can go to view details. We can see that scan is now running. Currently it is in queued status, but keep on refreshing this, the status will be updated. Still queued, let's wait for it. Let's refresh again. Purview works on the pay as you go model. So it is taking time to acquire the compute from the backend or the capacity that it required to do the scan. So it can take some time for do the scanning. Let's again refresh or we will wait. It is still in queue. So now we can see the status as in progress. Still it is running, but we can see the real time status as it has discovered four assets as of now, and it has automatically classified two assets also. Let's do the refresh again. So finally, the scan is completed. We can go to data catalog to verify what assets it have scanned. Go to the left first side option that is data catalog. 
and click on browse here we can see that there are different collections that are available if you know in what collection you want to see the data or the metadata you can go ahead and see that as we have scanned the data under human resource collection i can go here and i will be able to see different assets that are available however if you want to verify the metadata that have been scanned by the source type you can go to here uh, by source type option and you have scanned this data lake storage gen 2 click on that this storage account so this storage account is itself a data asset which it has scanned we can also see the description and everything about this storage account also let's go to sample data click on this address.xlsx there is no description as of now there are, there are no managed attributes i will explain what managed attributes are classifications are empty but it has given you the fully qualified name and it is important for doing the automation as well it is also showing you the hierarchy that is this is the storage account name then uh, we have the address.xls file go to properties it is automatically giving you some properties about the file lineage since this file is not being used anywhere to do the data processing and all this is empty click on contacts contacts is also empty here because we have not added any of the experts or the owners go to related it is related to the folder that we have that is sample data so it is showing you the automatic uh, related items as well we can also click on the second file that is health.csv and we can also verify the schema of this file the schema of this file is containing 20 columns which have been automatically scanned and it has automatically detected the data type of each column as well we can click on any column name also and we can add the description of that column name and add the properties as well click on this window to close and we can also now edit the data catalog items which we will cover in the next video thank you